5 a.m. wake up call this morning. We're leaving camp pretty soon, it's just after six. Trying to get up and over Hope Pass and Lake Ann Pass before the bad weather comes in, if we can. It's looking pretty foggy and gloomy out here, but it's not raining, it's not thundering, so that's a good sign. Wish us luck. Oh, and this is Colorado Trail day number 13. So gloomy this morning. Got ourselves a cabin. Old miner's cabin, maybe? Got blue skies ahead. That's a welcome sight. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, my word. This is gorgeous. Wow. Look at those clouds back behind. Cool. Here we go. Up the pass. Got the blood pumping first thing in the morning. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty, I can't get over it. Clouds are gaining on me, but I can't go any faster. Ooh, getting there. Can you spot Ibex with the blue way up there? <sighs> Welcome to the top of Hope Pass. Our first of two passes for today, probably. Look at this blue sky and sunshine. I am thrilled and finally got an inversion. I'm never up early enough for these because I always see them in Boulder early in the morning. I'm never on top of a mountain that early, but hey, we are today. Look at this, freaking ridiculous. Oh man, look, the clouds finally caught us. They're coming, they're shrouding in, and Dory's gonna miss the views because he's behind. <laughs> now down into the mist we go. Looks like we got some sun down there in the valley. Gosh, this descent feels like it's going on forever. <laughs> Still going down. Whew, finally some chill terrain today for a little bit. Getting treated with a lot of great scenery today. Looks like there's some camping down here at the base of this mountain. There's some cars parked. I wonder where that is. So we met some guys on the trail yesterday coming up partway up Hope Pass who are training for the Leadville 100 race, running race. And they were telling us that the, the race course takes, starts in Leadville, takes you over Hope Pass and down Hope Pass and then somewhere else, and then you have to go back up Hope Pass the other way, and down Hope Pass. And I just wanna say, dude, you ultra runners out there, you are tougher than I will ever be, because hiking up it is hard enough. I can't imagine running up it, running down it, like down is so steep, and there's so many loose rocks. Wow, and I just can't imagine like, okay, you wanna run a 100 mile race, that's crazy in itself, right? But then you want to do it at super high elevation over mountains like this. Just astounding. You're all badasses. That's all I really want to say. 
Lake Ann Pass, this away. Oh my gosh, I will enjoy this chill terrain as it lasts. <laughs> Tree made me nervous here for a second, but thank you to whoever cut this up. Looking awfully gloomy up there. So it's lunchtime, it's about 12.30, and just as we were getting to our lunch spot, it started raining pretty hard and pretty cold. And we were looking up at the pass and it looked pretty darn dark up there. So we decided to set up our tents and hunker down for a little bit and have lunch. And I'm having a cup of tea and hopefully wait it out. We'd still like to go over the pass today if we can. If not, that'll be a bummer. We'll have some miles to make up, but it is what it is. I don't want to get caught in thunder up there and I don't want to get caught in snow up there in case this cold rain turns to snow, which I have had happen in August a couple of times before. So anyway, we're just riding it out right now and seeing what happens and chilling out in our tents and keeping as warm and dry as possible at the moment. And just a couple hours later, we are back on the trail. It's looking a lot brighter up there. It's not raining anymore. Feeling more confident about it. Look at this view. That's the trail of Lake Anne. Apparently there's a bad porcupine that lives over there. Eats people's shoes. Wow, that's gorgeous. Lake Anne, everybody. That big boy in the foreground is Huron Peak. There's the pass going on up. This is a better view of Lake Anne. How amazingly gorgeous is this? Here we go. Last push. Welcome to the top of Lake Ann Pass, our second pass of the day. I'm pretty sure we did over 5,000 feet of elevation gain today, which is our biggest day yet. Ibex, what do you think about that? Did we actually? I think so. Oh, wow. We'll have to double check. Yeah. I'll confirm later, but I'm pretty sure that we did. I wonder I'm so tired. <laughs> Are you tired? I feel pretty good. I just had a, I've been drinking my noon with caffeine and B vitamins, so. Plus that two hour break did me pretty good. Yeah, that's true. Just waiting on Dory up here. He's a little bit of a slow boy with his long legs, but that's We're okay. That. We're very confused about that. But Okay, we've done about 4,600. Oh, okay, not 5,000. 4,600, Ibex says. <laughs> Corrected. Corrected. All right, maybe we'll do 5,000 another day. Still, 4,600, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah. And I do think that's our biggest day yet. Definitely is, yeah. And we made the right decision, I think, by hunkering down for a couple hours and coming up to pass. It's not exactly sunny, but we didn't get snowed on or struck by lightning, and we got views up here, so I'm pretty happy. Ivex, thoughts? Also, yeah, it's, that was a good idea for sure. Okay, great. Thanks for confirming that part. <laughs> Second pass of the day, how do you feel? Day number 14 on the Colorado Trail. Boy, oh boy, we got some rain last night. Started raining on our way down from Lake Ann Pass. 
We had a little more than four miles to go until we reached a campsite. It started raining, not a big deal. It wasn't too heavy. Um, but once we got to camp and luckily got set up, it started and it did not stop for many hours. <laughs> I was getting so much condensation on the inside of my tent. Everything is damp. Ibex had a kind of dramatic experience. Hey Ibex, what happened to your tent? So I got to experience the waterbed effect <laughs> where there was like a lake slowly forming a little bit uphill of my tent and I was watching it from under the vestibule and then it finally just breached its walls and the flood <laughs> the torrent came down of like just bits and pine needles and water and rushed under my tent between my ground sheet and my tent and I just could see it through the ground sheet flowing under and feel it like woo like waterbed <laughs> and like it didn't leak in my tent at all but it, everything was really dirty this morning <laughs> so how how do you manage all that stuff under your tent on top of your ground sheet uh i hung my tent up this morning and filled my water bladder and like poured water on the underneath to like wash everything off and i just took my ground sheet to the water source and just put it all in there got all the bits off oh it's man actually the cleanest it's been for days now i think wow <laughs> So today we're really hoping for some sunshine so we can dry everything out. So far the entire sky looks white. So uh, wish us luck. <laughs> really hoping that sun comes out. No surprise, got some puddles on the trail today. Look at those misty mountains over there. Those crazy clouds out there. When I get to town, I gotta look up what this crazy plant is. So interesting. More misty mountains. You think there's a dragon over there? Creek or trail? A little bit of both. Aspens, woo! I got one very, very wet boot crossing a stream today. Hope I don't get blisters from it. Boo. Does anybody else like these things from Trader Joe's? They're the okras. I'm a fan, just trying to get some extra veggies on trail, even if they are fried. <laughs> Another beaver den. Learned my lesson, took my shoes off for this one. Got a, another really tough climb today. Whew. Didn't know how to do so much. Yeah, the first, the first time I was in full camp, I really had to stretch my 